So we're here at the display week here in uh, Los Angeles with the Stuttgart University Institute for Large Area Microelectronics. Hello, so who are you? Hi, I'm David uh, from, from Heller. So um, I'm a partner from uh, yeah, University of Stuttgart and we have a uh, government founded project uh, called Folifa. And within we, this project we build up a high resoluting headlight. So this is a headlight for a car? This is a headlight and for a car. What is the special about this? The special about this is uh, you can project whatever you want in front of the car. So for example, um, ideal path guidance or um, in this situation you have a an, an, uh, bicycle uh, and you can, you can arrange the, the environment. You can Seriously, the, the, the headlight is making a thing around the bicycle? The headlight is, is capable to, to do a thing about uh, around the bicycle, and so you can interact with your environment with your, yeah, within the, the, the headlight. You can even send a message to the bicycle and say, hey, I'll be careful, don't worry. Yeah, or you, you, you uh, of, imagine autonomous driving, and uh, you drive autonomously, and you don't know that my car recognizes the bicycle or not, and your, your headlight can give you um, yeah, the signal, okay, I have... I have Seen the, the bicycle. So what's going on in here? Uh, this, this is inside the module. So we we put a normal TFT, a normal um, yeah TN LCD panel inside the module, and it's um, like a projector. It's like a projector. Yeah, but it's the the question is how to bring a projector with a lot of a lot of light inside a headlight. And the reason you would want to have that is because you want to have full brightness but not blind the guy in front of you. So this this is this is of course one one uh, function glare free high beam. Yeah? So this is everything above above the horizon uh, horizon and um, second you can do you can do with this is uh, in front of the car. So projections and everything regarding uh, glare free high beam and so on. And there you can see the the pedestrian is not going to get uh, like blinded by the yeah. light, or you can mark it, or you can, yeah. The the the, the capabilities are unlimited. Is this real uh, real uh, real demo here? Or what is going on here? What are you showing here? On the wall. Wait. Yeah. Ah. The lens is combining it again. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So let's see it. It's going all the way over there. Yeah. So this is this is one big. Projecting the matrix. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We can we talk about matrix systems, and yeah. this was the the link. To so uh, when you have commercial how does this one detect if something is in front and not to project so, on it? So what is the so, um, transmission? The car. The, the car has uh, multiple sensors like a camera, like leader sensor, and. Uh, all those informations yeah, yeah. go into our ECU. Okay, but what is this? You know, so the my, my, my ECU that drives uh, the LEDs of the module and that drives uh, the LCD itself. Yeah. So is this, this is a prototype. Is there an ARM CPU yeah. here or is it FPGA or what is this? This is, this is a normal microcontroller, so um, not that much uh, power uh, because we, we talk about 300 by 100 pixels. And, uh, so it's ST or somebody? Yeah. yeah, sorry. Ah, secret. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But are you the only one having this technology in the world? Hella is the only one who has this technology in the world. And uh, there's a. Uh, Hella. What, what is this demo right there? What is that? The other one is extreme. The display we build up, uh, the prototype display we build up with the uh, with, uh, Institute of. Yeah. yeah. So this is the University of, of Stuttgart. And uh, so, so this is the, the first the first prototype uh, this is a new that can withstand high light temperature range. It can okay. withstand so a lot of light going through it. And, and uh, also, Mac was uh, was partner and, uh, of, of this so project. Um, so the light goes through it. Yeah. Very bright. Yeah. Yeah. So the light is, is uh, reflected. So the, the LEDs are in the, in the bottom of the module. Light goes up and is reflected to the front. And the, the lens you can see in front. So this lens. So the image that is on the display onto the street. Alright. Um, and is it going to be as bright as normal headlights? It's going to be as bright as normal headlights. So this is, this is yeah, the, the target. So the, the customer wants the same light he, he gets with a, with a normal headlight. 
and uh, you will get it with this system. Yeah. detect other cars and uh, yeah, of course. And, and you need technology that's similar to self-driving cars. So you can in yeah, but but the, this this is for all for all adaptive headlights. You have this in in series nowadays. You have the camera. The camera detects the, the upcoming traffic. You have uh, we implemented an additional leader sensor for. Uh, for good information uh, about distance, yeah, and then um, you can declare participants. You can project things in front of the car. And, right. uh, How soon is this going to be uh, in the market? We talk about uh, 2020. So the two years, two years, three years, no, three two. years, <laughs> two and a half. Okay, yeah. three years. All right. So. Uh, all these companies like uh, Tesla and stuff, they should just, and all the German companies, Volkswagen, they should come and so say, hey, let's have it. Th this is implemented in a in Porsche Panamera prototype car. So this is this is on the street. You can you can drive with this. Uh, no. <laughs> so um, this, this is what the headlight looks like. And for example, where is the oncoming traffic? It's automatically dimmed. Nice. Cool. How much does it cost? Is the price? Uh, there's no price yet. There's no price. All right. When it gets mass manufactured, then every car will have this. Our target is, of course, to, to have this mass manufactured and, and in every car, but we, we always start with such technologies in, in high-class cars like E-Class, like, like Panamera, like those cars, and then going down in, in the middle-class cars. Yeah. But this is 